smartphone apps can tell you where to find a bagel, which subway to take, even what time to wake up for that flight to Cleveland. But show you around a ghetto? Writer Menachem Kaiser's developed an app that shows you around a Lithuanian ghetto and could prove to be the model for virtual tours through cities and historical sites around the world. It's been 70 years since the ghetto in Vilnius, Lithuania was liquidated, nearly all of its inhabitants killed. Generally, the ghetto is seen as a place where people were rounded up and people died. That's Menachem Kaiser. He's trying to change that narrative with ReVilna, an online project that uses mapping technology to retell the story of the ghetto. ReVilna is a mapping uh, project to take the Vilna ghetto and put it into an accessible and intuitive format for users to be able to explore. Kaiser and a group of researchers poured through archives, searching for photos and monographs that had some kind of geographic information that you can plot on a map. So anything that we could pinpoint a longitude and latitude onto, we took that, put it into a database, found the corresponding li longitude and latitude, and then worked from the database into a software platform. The result is something like a super Google map. Users can choose a theme, say the formation of the ghetto, and click through a map to learn about the places and people that comprise the ghetto. So you have about seven schools, uh, you had the synagogues, you had places of study. Um, the cultural centers were really interesting that came out, the library, um, music halls, sporting fields, gymnasiums. Um, we also have spaces like uh, what I would call infrastructure of the ghetto. So you have a symbol of the hospital, you have, uh, say, the ghetto jail, the ghetto court system, and the administration, uh, health department, the sanitary clinic, things like that. It presents a narrative that's not usually one that people know about the ghetto, and one that's usually inaccessible. The website is available in a mobile version, so users walking the streets of modern-day Vilnius can explore the ghetto's rich history. We have a mobile site uh, which uses geolocation. So if someone goes with their smartphone, their GPS kind of centers the way, where they are in the ghetto and shows them the nearby buildings and sites. The idea, says Kaiser, is of course to show the ghetto as a place of loss, but also as a vibrant center for Jewish life. So far, the project's plotted around 200 sites in Vilnius, and Kaiser hopes to expand the project to other cities around the world. This is Stephen Fee for JN1 in New York.